In this Autodesk Maya tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Maya paint effects and then render them in Arnold. Maya paint effects normally don't render in the Arnold render engine in Maya, so we need to convert them to polygons first. But how do we draw Maya paint effects? If you're in Maya and you're in the modeling standard workspace, go to the top and click generate, then click get brush. There are all kinds of great fun brushes in Maya paint effects. I'm going to go to flowers and then I'm going to click this Dahlia red. Then I'm going to close this window. Now I have a brush or pencil icon. And if I draw on the grid, it makes some flowers. If I undo that and I hold B and then drag left or right, I can change the size of the flowers. So this is pretty nice. These are nice big flowers. But if I go to Arnold, and I add a sky dome light, and then I go to Arnold, open Arnold render view, and I click render, you'll notice that there's nothing there. That's because there's no polygons, so Arnold doesn't know what to do. We can fix that very quickly. So let's go ahead and select these flowers. So I have the flowers selected, then go to modify, convert, paint effects to polygons. This converts the Maya paint effects to polygons so you can render them in the Arnold render engine. But if we go back to Arnold, open Arnold render view, and we click render, the colors are kind of washed out. So they're not really, they're not really great. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a snapshot of that. So I have a snapshot remembering what these colors look like. Let's improve those. So I'm gonna close the Arnold render view. Then I'm going to go to the hypershade in Maya. To get to the hypershade, click on this blue circle at the top. And here in the hypershade, you'll see that we have some colors for the flower. So Dahlia Red, I'm going to right click and graph the network. And so this is a shader that Maya created when it converted the paint effects to polygons. What I want to do is click here in the graph, press tab, and then type AI standard surface. I'm going to go ahead and label this AI Dahlia Red 1 Flower Shader. Then I'm going to grab the color from this ramp and plug it right into the base color. So now if you look here, I have this red ramp. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy some of the specular values from here. So if you look at this old shader, it has a specular color of black and a reflectivity of 5. So we can do that. I'm going to change the reflective color to black and change the weight to 0.5. If we go back here, it has a diffuse roughness of 0.233. So we can go ahead and change that here. So we'll change our diffuse roughness to 0.233. And then the last bit, it has an IOR or refractive index of one. We'll change our IOR to one. And there we go. And now we can delete these two pieces of shader. And now we have an AI standard surface that has the same properties as the original shader. Now we need to assign it to our material. There are many ways to do that. I can go ahead and select the material here or the object mesh in Maya, and then I can right click on the shader and assign material to selection. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. If I go back to Arnold, open Arnold render view, and now I render. Wow, look at that. Look how bright the dahlias are now. Now we just need to do the same thing for the stem and the leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and take a snapshot there. Pause that render, close the window. So then for the, the leaves, it's very straightforward. So I right click graph network and it's the exact same procedure. So I'll press tab and I'll say AI standard surface. And then I'll grab the out color and plug it right into the base color. And then we just need to copy over the value. So if I go to this shader here, it has a diffuse value of 0.512, so we'll change that, 0.512. And then we go back, it has a reflective color of black and 0.5, so we'll change that as well. Let's go to black, and then we'll change the weight to 0.5. And then if we look, its refractive index is also one, so we'll lower our refractive index to one. So now we can label this AI standard surface shader, AI, Dahlia red one shader. So this is for the stem. And then we can delete these pieces here. So now let's go ahead and 
assign this material to the stem. Remember, I'll select it here, then I'll select the stems, and then I can right click assign material to selection. And then lastly, we just have to do the leaves. It's a little bit more complicated because there's some transparency. So we'll right click on it, graph the network, and here in the hypershade, we can see what's going on. So I'll click in the graph, press tab, and then I'm gonna say AI standard surface. Here's my AI standard surface. The first thing to do is grab the color and put it right into the base color. So now we have the base color of our AI standard surface and it already looks pretty cool, but we need to change a few things. Notice that the specular color is dark. So we'll come here and we'll change our specular color to dark. And then we need to change our values. So our reflectivity is 0.5 and our diffuse is 0.311. So for diffuse, we'll do 0.311, and then our weight here is 0.5, and our IOR is 1. But we still need to get that transparency. You can see already how this is starting to look like a leaf, but how do we get the transparency? You might be tempted just to drag this to opacity, and while that will work, it makes it way too transparent. So we don't want to do that. So I'm going to break this connection. And then if I go to out alpha and I try to drag it to opacity, it doesn't work. That's because alpha is a single channel. But if I click the plus button by opacity, I get the red, green, and blue channels in the AI standard surface. So now I can drag out alpha to opacity red, opacity green, and opacity blue. And now I get this nice leaf color that has some transparency to it. So let's go ahead and label this AI. Dahlia red one leaf shader. And then we can delete this old one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the leaf shader right here, and then I'll click on the leaves, and then I'll right click assign material to selection. And then I'm gonna close the hypershade. So now we have our objects here, and we can go ahead and go to Arnold, open Arnold render view, and let's make a render. Now you can see that our dahlias are nice and bright. So if I take a snapshot there and I'll stop the render, let's look back at the, what they used to look like. Here, this is when you just convert the paint effects in Maya to polygons and then render them in Arnold. It looks all dull and washed out. But if you take a second to change those to AI standard surface shaders, suddenly the paint effects in Maya look bright and wonderful. So these are old, features of Maya and our low poly, but they can still be really fun and you can make all kinds of great effects and animations for your projects. And you can make them very bright if you change the shaders in the hypershade. Happy 3D modeling.